here it is the safari snorkel now obviously if you watch any overland videos um a lot of people have these and they are high, super high quality very thick plastic and if you're willing to drill into your fender and your a pillar um they're, they're 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 a great investment as far as not only protecting your you know your intake and water crossings but you also you know that's a common misperception is that hey you put on a safari snorkel you can go through water crossings and you know go all the way up to the top right here and um yeah that's true if you have other supporting modifications um if you have your front and rear axles, transfer case, and transmission. If you have breathers that are, you know, are set up to a higher point. On the car, then you know on your, your interior, if you know, you know, especially you know your alternator and whatnot, if you know where that's at and if it's high enough. Unfortunately, on the Tundra, it sits low. Um, that's kind of you know the only downfall with this, because obviously, you know, even if you get a lift, bigger lift kit, and bigger tires, you can go through some serious water. But not only does this help you with water crossings, since it's you know, air intake completely comes from up here it's completely sealed all the way to the throttle body um not only is it for water crossings you also get colder air you get colder air that comes in your engine so sucking it up you know down here um next to the exhaust manifold you know with dust and dirt coming in you know behind the splash shield um you get cooler air you get cleaner air because when the dust comes in it 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 this bend right here it doesn't really try and make it through this bend right here and that's the way it's designed with these and um so it helps you know getting cleaner cooler air um snorkel i got it for free and i won't go into the exact details but let's just say when i got the front bumper bar there was a problem with the shipping on it and arb is such a great company um arb you know obviously the usa division I believe they're up in Oregon, or uh, I'll look that up. I'll add that on to the video. But they're such a great company, you know, they're like, they're a problem with the shipping, and they sent me this for free. And I did want one, and you just have to make the commitment to, because installing it was pretty difficult. Now, I'll give Airbnb credit, you know, their instructions were pretty clear, even though it was black and white pictures, but they didn't include a template. So here's the, um, the instructions here. So here's the template, which you're gonna mount on right here. You're gonna drill it. Obviously, you can make your uh, center punch marks. And I left this on and just drilled through the actual template. And you, this is the hole you gotta do. I used a, um, I have a gear driven air saw. So I drilled a couple of holes and I just, you know, I had it already traced on the body and I just, you know, the, the metal's thin. So I, I was able to just, you know, drill it with my air saw and went around there. Um, So mount your mounting studs on there, which has studs on it. And then you're gonna mark your, you're gonna basically line it up, mark your bracket up here. Um, I open the door and actually use a marker to mark that. And then center punch this and you're just gonna drill three small holes into the pillar. It doesn't affect the airbag at all because there is a metal part inside which separates the interior from the outside and you're not drilling through that. So, you're just drilling into the, you know, into the basically the, the hollow inside of the A pillar. And then there's these little rubber um, expanders that you put in there that you're actually going to screw that into. See, there's little plastic inserts and then there's self-tapping screws which drill that in there. 
and then you're gonna remove your lower air box. I had the TRD intake on mine, which um, is a little bit different, but it still worked out just fine. You gotta just sand off a little, um, two little tabs on there. It's very clear on how to do it. And, um, so you're gonna trim this is the air box again, the lower mounting part. You can just trim a rib off of there so the snorkel part of this fits on there perfectly. Um, yeah, see, black and white pictures, I mean, ARB, that's the only really downside. Their instructions are really clear. It's just, you know, color pictures would be nice, especially since this intake is probably six, seven hundred dollars, and this bumper bar was probably around two grand, and you know you're paying that much money you should probably have colored pictures that's my only gripe about it really um i mean that's pretty much it there's going to be a rubber tube that connects them both and there's actually a drainage um a drainage hole in the stock air box and i use just a rubber plug just plug that you know drainage hole up so you don't have any water coming in there at all <clears throat> and um, so basically that's it you got seven bolts up here three in there um, this just comes on you can angle this around you know to the back if you want and then um, let me pop the hood here so now you have the TRD intake and right here so see it connects to this rubber pipe here which is rubber pipe goes straight through the fender and it connects to the other part of this. Completely sealed all the way up to the throttle body. Um, and that's it for really for the Safari snorkel. Got any questions, comments? Um, you want me to go through something a little bit more detailed on the install? Um, subscribe, like, and comment. I'll get to them. I'll send you some pictures or something. Um, as you can see, it fits perfectly to the contour of the body. Um, it's real, you know, it's solid. It's not moving anywhere. You can pretty much shake the truck with it. And um, driving impressions, I've had it on for about two weeks now. And it's weird because when you get on it, you kind of hear, if you have the TRD intake, you kind of hear the loud growl from the front already. But now it's a little bit different because you hear it from the top outside. You hear it from the top um, of the intake now. So looks good i mean i got it for free so i can't you know just drilling into your car is the only thing downside about it but it's required because you want it secure so any other comments questions let me know subscribe we got something magical pretending that nobody knows Trying to hide but it shows Lost my sense of logical Think that I'm gonna explode Echoes inside of my bones Not the brave kind Never dare to Take the leap when the chances come be You are special Ordinary Can get you out